That's right, Mark. Good afternoon to you and Courtney. We'll get to that in just a moment. It has been an emotional afternoon. And as you can see behind me, the, uh, the flowers and the memorial does continue to grow, grow out here for those two officers. The department did announce the passing of Corporal Michael Paredes. He's a veteran officer. He had 22 years with the department. He was raised in El Monte with deep connections to the community. He started his law enforcement career as a cadet with the El Monte Police Department. He was sworn in full time back in 2000. He worked all kinds of specialized assignments, the department says, during his career. He leaves behind his wife, daughter, and son. Now, the other officer as identified is Officer Joseph Santana. Officer Santana also has deep ties to this community. He began his career as a public works employee and after six years of that, transitioned to law enforcement. He's worked as a deputy sheriff for the San Bernardino County Department for three years. And then in the last year, he accepted a job with El Monte and made the switch back to his hometown. Officer Santana is survived by his wife, daughter, and his twin boys. Now. In the last hour or so, loved ones of the officers were out here at the memorial. Uh, they asked us to respect their privacy in the moment. We did just that. Another man, though, who came here told us he plans to join the police academy next year to one day become an El Monte police officer, and he choked back tears expressing his sorrow. Just to see every, I mean, every police officer that's out there, you know, that's heartbroken right now, and just to hear this heartbreak, it's just... It really hurts my heart. It can be someone's son out there. It can be, you know, a father that, you know, that passed away and just, you know, just to feel this heartbreak. This is a photo of the man believed to have opened fire on those two officers. He's identified by his mother as 35-year-old Justin William Flores. She told KTLA she doesn't know why her son shot the officer. She did say that he had a criminal record and did jail time for domestic violence. Now, yesterday afternoon, Flores was involved in a gunfight with these two officers. They had responded to a report of a stabbing at the Siesta Motel along Garvey. Detectives say they were ambushed, those two officers, when they arrived. Witnesses say the officers were immediately hit with gunfire. They fired back. The suspect then came outside and was later found dead in a parking lot, his gun at his side. Now, as we've been saying, this loss cut so deep. Earlier today, Supervisor Hilda Solis offered her condolences. She lives here in El Monte. She knows how tight-knit this community is. Uh, both the officers have children, and the supervisor had this to say as we approach Father's Day this weekend. These are two fathers, and they have family and children, so let's keep those positive thoughts in our prayers for them. And again, back here live, uh, you can see people that are out here, um, again, dropping off flowers. Uh, these look like um, community uh, workers here in El Monte. Again, family members are out here as well, and uh, they asked us to respect their privacy at this time uh, as this investigation continues. And uh, as you can imagine, Mark and Courtney, just a, a deeply emotional and uh, very difficult afternoon for everyone here. Um, just not just the officers' families, but the extended family of law enforcement and then the extended family of the city of El Monte. Everybody's really hurting at this time.